Hi everyone, it's Leanne with Lovely Scrapin. I'm here with another Pro 31 Designs design team project. This is my episode number five, and I did a pin cushion. Yay, I was so excited to finally make one. I was so inspired um, by the videos I've been seeing out there, but the main person who inspired me was Leonie, and her YouTube channel is My Passion for Paper, and I'll be sure to post the link down in the description box. If you haven't already, you guys check out her channel. She's new to YouTube. She's just recently started posting her videos of her amazing work and um, yeah I can go on and on about her work anyway Leone you are so inspiring love your work loved your pin cushions and I was so inspired and I followed the link that you posted um, on how to make a pin cushion I can't remember the name of that YouTube channel but you guys I'll post a link down below as well um, and it shows you how to make it I did do a start to finish video on me making this project so if you're interested in watching me create it just continue watching the clips that I put together and um, let's get started so thank you Leone for your inspiration Hers was black and white. Um, I think a lot of her decor is like a black, white, and silver kind of a thing. And mine in my room is black, white, and turquoise. So this is my first time working with this color, you guys, <laughs> with the turquoise. So um, lots and lots of fun. But I'll just give you a quick peek at what this is actually a stick pin. And I'll show you that in a second. But there's just a quick round look at that and what I used for it was I went to my dollar store and I there's these little tins and they're just plain and so I, I grabbed one and then I used just the um, tin part and I'm using the lid actually to hold stick pins right now which I'll show you in a second and I had some um, material in my um, stash so I'm not going to explain how I created it because you guys will see that in the clips following this um, but anyway, so for the cushion thing, you know, I used my fiber fill and my um, some satin. I used actually fiber fill from a cushion. I have tons of cushions and I could part with one. So instead of going out and buying some, I just used a cushion, um, tore out the fiber fill inside and um, made my own. So um, this damask paper um, is actually my wall decal kind of a thing that I have. The design is in my room and I briefly showed it in my... I start to finish but here's what the package looks like anyway I have a whack load left over but I do have some up on my wall um, and don't worry you guys I will do a room um, tour eventually but it's a disaster so once I clean it and finish organizing a few more things I will do a room tour so I know a lot of you've been asking but stay tuned I promise I will do one um, so anyway here is kind of a little example of what the damask looks like so I just took it and cut it and I um, Put the strip around here. I had some of this trim in my stash from Frog Feathers and I lined it with the Pro 31 Design flower trim. This is the large white flower trim and I used a sharpie to actually just color in the center of them um, with this kind of a blue color. And this box pleated trim, thank you so much Leone for the inspiration and the tutorial. She has an amazing tutorial on how to make your own box pleated trim. I was using like hot glue and it just looked horrible and then I remember seeing lots of box pleated trim that Leonie did and then she did a tutorial so anyway I um, used Leonie's technique in making my own box pleated trim so I did that with black satin on the bottom layered it with this turquoise satin ribbon and then put this um, blingy kind of a trim black and the silver that Pro 31 Designs also sells in um, the Etsy store and again I'll post all the links to the products um, from Pro 31 Designs down below and as well as the Etsy link and all that good stuff so just check out all the links you guys so that's that uh, mention that sorry I'm trying to be quick you guys this is gonna be a really long video um, because of the start to finish part um, but here I made this with some satin material and you'll watch me stitch that together just doing a running stitch and then you know pulling it and it gathers up and so I did that I did the same thing with the black lace and then um, I did that this is this trim is actually this and I've done a tutorial on that on how I do it it's pretty much a running stitch and then you use a lot of uh, the ribbon and you pull it and it scrunches up quite a bit like that and um, so that's how I I got that and then this is the same trim as this and again you can get that at Pro 31 Designs and then the Cameo is also from Pro 31 Designs and um, this here is the um, black it's just like this um, flower trim but black and I just cut off one little flower and I cut out the center bead like that I cut it out and put in the um, blingy piece from here and and put it in the center and then I just tied a little bow with some organza I had in my stash organza ribbon 
Um, so that's how I got sort of the front. Um, this was a um, wild orchid craft cherry blossom and um, I it was kind of a turquoise but I needed it a bit darker so I used some broken china distress ink and painted it with that and then added some diamond stickles along the edges and in the center. This is a little mini um, chandelier diamond drop from Pro 31 Designs as well as this little acrylic flower also from Pro 31. Um, this is just a little um, bead spray I had in my stash and then um, these are little I am roses, little mini rose buds. And then I have um, these black little small feathers and I just layered them um, three like that and kind of made it so they weren't all the same length. And what else did I do? Oh, and this is a little, I don't know if you can tell, is just a black kind of an oval bead um, on just like a stick pin, um, one of those pearl stick pins. And I just made a little mini stick pin and stuck it in there. And there's also these little white um, leaves. Sorry, you can't quite see the other one very well, but there's one there and one there. Those are also from Pro 31 Designs. And um, let's see, covered that. This side, this um, is a butterfly that I made using some satin. And I showed how I made that. The look of it, I remember seeing Leonie's um, butterfly, and I think she got inspiration from um, Kelly, um, creative Kelly from Kelly. Um, I didn't, I haven't ended up, I haven't watched her tutorial yet, and I probably should have, but I didn't have time, so I just kind of made made it <laughs> whatever the way I thought was the easiest. So that's how I made it. I put some feather there, some more of that little blingy trim. Um, I wish I doubled up and then have as antennas, and. Um, then this is one of those kind of three-dimensional acrylic flowers that Pro 31 Designs also sells. And this is one of the buckle sliders from Pro 31 Designs. And I just pasted one of those um, pieces, you know, one of the flower trim from the black. I just cut off a flower and put it in the, in the middle. But I did slide it through some ribbon, the same ribbon trim here, and just kind of cut the edges like that and melted them a bit and just kind of put it there. And um, more of those little mini crystal diamond drops, the little mini ones. I love these. I think I only have one left. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't use it, um, but I have one left, I think. I love these. That's how much I use those again, because she gave me like 12 of them, and yeah, they're almost gone. Um, again, um, little these leaves aren't from Pro 31 Designs, because I ran out of the white ones <laughs> from Pro 31, but I had a few in my stash, and I just cut them down smaller um, to be like the small ones from Pro 31. And then again, another cherry blossom I painted and added the diamond stickles. Um, here you can see a spray that I made. You'll see me make that again. And I do have a tutorial on how to make beaded sprays just using one piece of wire so you don't have to twist a whole bunch of wires together to make a spray. And then another little, I think that's an I Am Roses rose that I put diamond stickles on as well. And um, I think that... Oh, and this, okay, this is actually quite fun. Um, I made this stick pin. This is a beaded flower that I got in a rack from Lena, and she's Sweet Nothing's Paper Company. Thank you, Lena. Oh my gosh, I've been hoarding them, and I decided, okay, I'm going to make it, and I get to keep this project because it's for my room, my decor, and so, yay, I get to keep this. <laughs> so excited. So anyway, I um, put it on a stick pin, added some beads to it. Um, you'll watch me make that, and then with the wires that were left over, I just curled them, and I thought that kind of looked cool. So that is a nice little stick pin that just looks kind of cute right there, so... That's what I did. Um, so here are a bunch of stick pins that I made to go along with this. Um, just a bunch of beads in my stash. So I will be adding them to it. As you can see, sorry, you guys. Hopefully you can see. And some of the things I colored with my Sharpie because I didn't have a lot of turquoise. But these um, bead heads I have, and they were from the dollar store, the turquoise ones. They actually come... I'll show you what they come. They look like this. So I really love them. So I use those ones. And I also have, oops, sorry about the camera, round ones. And then these ones I think are a little bit, yeah, these ones are a bit smaller of a pearl. So anyway, dollar store, check out the sewing section. And oh, there's also like, they come in like white ones. And they come like that too. So I used um, a lot of those for the heads. And then these ones, I use them all Leone. These ones um, Leone gave me in a rack. Um, they just come with like this and then I added my beads. 
love these and you know what you guys um pro 31 design sells similar um ones to this so check out her stick pins i have yet to make my purchase but i'm going to be purchasing some from pro 31 because oh my goodness i saw them there when i was looking around but i can't afford to make a purchase yet i'm a little bit cut off still and you know christmas and oh my goodness okay this one i think i showed I took off the center, this is acrylic flower from Pro 31, I took off the center bling and I heated up a pin really really hot with a lighter and then I stuck the pin through the acrylic and it made a hole so then I could stick my pearl stick pin through it and then that ends up being the center, I'm sorry about my inky hands you guys, um, and that ends up being the center of the flower and then I put a bead cap and then of course some beads there. So that's how that one turned out. I really like how it turned out and I'm glad that my hot needle went through it. <laughs> I was hoping it would. So there's another one and another one, again going with the theme, another one. I'm so excited to use beads in my stash and another one and then I can stick the, um, the stick pins that I've received in a rack or whatever and I can stick them in here on my pin cushion because I've been dying to have a place to put them. Like look what I've been doing you guys. This is how badly I needed a pin cushion. <laughs> I was just using this leftover piece and I've been sticking the pins in there. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Okay, yeah, so they are going to get transferred to this, but anyway. And those are my last two ones that I made. Lots of fun making stick pins. And again, to glue all of my beads, I use glossy accents, you guys. It is the best. You just have to let it set to dry or to harden um, for, you know, an hour or so. But you just, that's why I had them in this tin, because after I was done, you know how it's raised a little bit, I just put them like that and gravity pulls them downward and they harden and they are not going anywhere. There is no hot glue showing. It's great, love it. So that's what I use for my stick pins. So hope you guys like it. Check it out, yay, so excited. Anyway guys, I hope you like it. If you're interested in watching me put it together, continue watching the clips, okay? Thanks everyone for watching. Please leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think. Bye.